By the way, I want to shout out the Australians because they are not taking me being banned sitting down. They have started a petition. They are making all of these videos. They're saying they're going to drop it off at Tony Burke's office. It just makes me so happy to know that people are fighting for free speech. They're outraged about what the Zionist Federation has done. Obviously, the majority of these events were completely sold out. So they made a decision that was not done on behalf of the people, but rather was done on behalf of political interests. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I saw the petition. Uh, I think it's on like Life. Uh, Skylar, look up the website that it's on and let me know. Oh, here it is. Amazing. Life petition com. Somebody put this up, and I just find this to be incredible that they did this. So sign it, deliver to Tony Burke. We're watching you, and just so you guys haven't, just so you guys know, we are taking this to the courts. Like we're going to fight this, and so you may have gotten like the you're not getting a refund just yet. We're going to see if we can get this struck down in court. Notification. That is exactly what we are doing. Because I never give up without a fight. I like fighting. That's the problem. I'm happy fighting. I'm like, I'm so happy fighting. It's got to drive people crazy. I am I truly am a happy warrior. And I am that way because I'm free. I can say whatever it is that I want. And I trust my audience. My audience trusts me. And I'm just grateful for you guys. And also, again, you guys support me independently. Locals.com, Patreon.com. Thanks to all of you guys. Just by subscribing, by the way, if you're watching this on Rumble or YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I think we're close to, uh, really close to 3 million on YouTube, which is amazing. And we finally have broke, I think, almost a quarter million on Rumble, which we've just started. So I'm really proud of all that progress. All right, I'm going to read some of your comments now. Let's see what you guys are thinking. I know I'm having way too much fun. I should look more depressed when bad things happen to me, but I just know that in the end we win, man. I got the Christ spirit. This person writes, Candice, just wondering, when will your new book come out? Also, I've signed the petition to let you speak in Australia. Keep fighting the good fight. I love you so much. Yes, uh, we actually just figured out how to publish the book uh, somewhat independently. And so we are expecting the book to drop in Q1 of next year. So I will keep you posted and you guys are going to absolutely love it. And I've actually written it years ago. I've just been sitting on it and waiting for a publisher that is willing to publish me because the industry is controlled and you're not allowed to publish different ideas. And my first book almost got dropped because of my views on George Floyd. That's a true story, which I'll share another day. Abigator writes, can you find out what the dry goods store was called and look at old newspaper archives? Maybe there are pictures printed in the paper about it. Okay, Abigator, that is a great question. We have explored that. And that's why I think the Pedro Farms thing might be a link. And, and like I said, my suspicion is that Christiana is if she is the child, she could be the child of the Hamilton Brown and it's just a full incestuous family and she has a different last name. But uh, that's my suspicion. That's what I feel is actually happening. And I am still pouring through newspaper archives every single day as we keep getting more hints and more tidbits. And we are a very small team. So we do rely a lot on you guys helping us as well. Matilda writes, Kamala talking about her blackness without mentioning her father's side is telling. I'm glad you exposed her. Also, her family in general isn't around her that much. Trump's family is everywhere. Hope you heard that club Shay Shay. Yeah. You hear that? 100% true. She's like completely isolated from her family. Her and her, her father don't get along. Don't forget. He like slapped her down years ago and he's gone like completely MIA. He's nowhere near her. So you're right. That is a red flag. Katie F. and Marie writes, can you bring the author of Chaos on for an interview? I think your listeners would benefit from this. Also, please look into Jeffrey McDonald. He is still in jail and the case is eerily similar to Chaos. Um, yes, we have tried to bring the author on. We had communication with him, but he said he was working on his second book and he wasn't doing any interviews until then. I know that he has sold a ton of copies. He, he owes me a check. I think he owes me like royalties. I'm going to tell him for real when I see him. Uh, and now they have restocked Chaos in bookstores all across America because it has been selling out. It, but it is such a great book. And honestly, he deserves all the success in the world. For those of you that have read it, he went completely flat broke and it took him decades and he lost his job because he became truly obsessed with the Charles Manson case and the things that he was uncovering. So he fully, fully deserves it. Uh, and my producer is noting that Jeffrey McDonald is an American former medical doctor and United States Army captain who was convicted of murdering his pregnant wife and two daughters while serving as an Army Special Forces physician. He maintains his innocence. Wow. That is saying a lot, given what we learned in chaos about them, uh, MK altering people and getting them to commit murders and they had drugging them and them having absolutely no memory of what they were making them do. It, the things that they have done to people that have served in the military and learning about one guy who was given the electric chair by the guy who was leading the MK Ultra, knowing fully that they had MK Ultra him and he had no memory of the crime of assaulting a toddler. It was uh, one of the darkest chapters in chaos, I would say. Sarah writes, don't get upset when they try to smear you, Candace. The real ones know. I know. 
I know. They've called me everything now. And like I said, it's an echo chamber at this point. They're just writing to themselves because they feel so elite and so powerful, even though no one's listening. We're on the outside and it's way more fun here. Trading pennies writes Candace for Trump's press secretary. Uh, that would actually be fun. I would have a very fun time doing that. 123B writes, God bless you and yours, Candace. Nice job. Viva Cristo Ray. You should be ashamed of being a white supremacist because CNN told me that you were. Hey, it's Zach Rorden writes, Kamala and her family are nefariously using black people for their own self-interest, just like they did in slave days. There was nothing new under the sun. They never stopped and Dems are doing the same. That's another thing. He didn't even question her about the, her slave uh, slave owning family, the origins. I mean, I really have it out now for Shannon Sharp. I just think he's such a fraud for that. Just such a fraud for that. But I'm willing to talk about it because I am an open minded individual and I'd like to understand how people, you know, become frauds, how they became frauds. How did Shannon Sharp become that person who is just up there tap dancing for the Democratic Party in that regard? Then lastly, we have Doggett. Doggett writes, Candace, my nine-year-old daughter, and I love watching all your videos. You are a great example of a black woman, and I want my daughter to look up to you watching from Melbourne, Australia. We love you. Well, hopefully I will be able to see you in Melbourne, Australia. We will see either way. Thank you guys so much for the support. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't happen, then it wasn't meant to happen. It was actually meant to serve as what it is, which is a massive scandal and awakening so many people in Australia to the fact that they're not the government is not working for you. They're working against you. It's it's eerily similar to a, a communist regime making these sorts of sweeping decisions for non-criminals while allowing criminals within your borders, people with records to perf like uh, with criminal records to perform, people that were arrested this year multiple times, like Travis Scott was, who's due to perform. It is meant to serve. If this is the ultimate decision, it is meant to serve as an awakening, and it will in fact backfire. I believe that. I believe nothing happens uh, that the Lord does not will to happen, and I will. Leave it at that. Don't forget to hit subscribe, you guys. We will see you tomorrow.